Hello one and all, welcome back to Paladone TV. You know what we do, we make gifts, gadgets and merchandise for TV, films and games. I am very excited to show you another new range for 2020. This is Dungeons and Dragons, the legendary role-playing tabletop game that many, many people all over the world internationally know and love. Even in the office here at Paladin, we have a few Dungeons and Dragons players. And we're very excited to have this range in our hands and to be able to create some fantastic product. And here is a little sample of it. We have mugs, we have lights, we have saving banks, we've got enamel pin badges. We've got seven products in total and I have an eight-sided dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's it? Six. The D12 shaped mug. That's number six. So obviously this is meant to represent a 12-sided dice. We've got a, a D8 dice there. We've got a D20 light. We've got a D20 key ring over there. We've got a lot of Ds. Anyway, this is a brilliant, brilliant mug. I just want you to see it in all its glory. And as you can see, it is electroplated. So it gives this lovely silver effect all over the mug. And then we have the different decals for the numbers. You can see there the official logo. Obviously, when you're very intensely dungeons and dragonizing and you, you, you've you got to keep up your liquids, you've got to stay hydrated. This is the mug for you. You can't do any better than this. Number four, this is the savings bank. So one thing I wanted to mention is in the style guide for Dungeons and Dragons this year, we have some just incredible illustrations. Now these are done by a very, very talented illustrator called Hydro74. And when we first saw the style guide and the art that we were gonna get to work with, we were, we were so excited. His drawings were gonna be flipping fantastic. And just look at it, look at the amount of detail we have on this product. There on the front of this adventure fund savings bank, we have the Null, a were hyena character from the law of Dungeons and Dragons, which I'm sure if you're a fan, you will be very familiar with. This is a lovely tin savings bank. It is supposed to represent a book and just like a book, it opens yeah, from the front. You have the little coin slot in the top there still. There is detail on the back. There is detail on the spine. As you can see, you have the lovely kind of glinty, shiny metal effect of the tin showing through the artwork and the overall look is pretty fantastic. So let's just, you know, let's try it out. Let's put some coins in. <laughs> I missed the slot, that's embarrassing. Very simple. Save up money for extra extra sparkly dice or you know, new pieces for your set or new sets or new books. It's not buying business what you save your money for. Oh, number one, so number one was the enamel pin badges, I believe. Fantastic enamel pin badges. So they use a little bit of the illustration from Hydro 74. Some of them use the Dungeons and Dragons ampersand logo or the standard logo. Then the detail in these badges is fantastic. They have really, really managed to get a lot of detail in these. Dungeon Master, which would be extra great for when you are the Dungeons Master and you wanna wear a little badge, a little sparkly badge to go, look mate, I'm in charge here. Listen to me, I'm the Dungeons Master. I don't actually know who this fella is, but I know that Simon in the office likes to call them snake eyes, so that's what we call them. The brilliant little set of six enamel pin badges, they're all excellent. You, you're gonna wanna have the whole set. I mean, look at them, they're beautiful. <laughs> Number three, this excellent, excellent heat change mug. That is big. Now, I may have mentioned in another video that now all our heat change mugs are coming in XL size. So these are extra big mugs. It's almost as big as my head and I categorically officially have the biggest head in the world. Absolutely brilliant detail of Hydro 74 illustration wrapping all the way around this mug. Now with this black detail, this is the heat change detail. So once we put some hot water into this, it will all strip away and you'll see the brilliant illustration underneath right up to the tippy top and there you go as you can see lovely painted artwork is emerging underneath come on the beholder you can do it and there we go so obviously on the top on the artwork we had the hydro 74 illustrations of the beholder very graphic very edgy and underneath we had this quite contrasting style painty style of the beholder as well looks like he's going after one of his victims this fella over here looks very scared of this horrible medusa-esque scary monster pretty gross isn't he this is a brilliant mug it has got two excellent beautiful illustrations on it i don't know how i'm going to move this because there is a lot of very hot liquid in here help two or seven Seven, the D20 keyring. If you play Dungeons and Dragons, you will be a big fan of these dices. They will probably sit in a little satchel. You probably have like 10 sets of them, lots of different colors and sizes and shapes. And you probably find them in your pockets, in your washing machine. So why not add another one to your collection? It is solid metal. It is really, really weighty. Listen to that thunk. 
and the whole key ring has this kind of weathered worn effect so it looks really like it might have been found in kind of kind of in a dungeon maybe and here you can see we have an extra little bit of detail it is a charm of the Dungeons and Dragons ampersands I love that it's metal I love that it's heavy I love that it's a really faithful representation of the dice that you will be using in the game it feels quintessentially Dungeons and Dragons Two, this is the player's notebook. Obviously, when you play Dungeons and Dragons, you need to write down a lot of information, especially if you're the dungeon master. Also, if you're character and you need to, you know, keep track of what's going on, your health points, your all your stats. This is the perfect place to put all of that information while you're playing the game, while you're role playing and you're enjoying yourself so that you don't lose it and you don't forget what size shoe that M Morgalore has or you don't forget how many magic points Cassandra has so that she can cast magic missiles. That's important information. You don't want to lose track of that. We have also included excellent pencils everything you need to write down all that information and again we have featured heavily this brilliant illustration from Hydro 74 now this character on the front is a lovely fellow called Snurg I mean Snurg sounds a little bit like the noise I make when I wake up in the morning and there's no cereal but this guy is a fire giant and he's got an amazing helmet look at that on the back you have even more brilliant detail and this whole thing has a lovely leather effect so it just feels really nice and there's some embossing in there as well just to give the extra brilliant bit of detail on the end papers we have this brilliant pattern. You have the D12 dice in there, you've got the D20, you've got D8 further into the book. On one side you have the graph pages which is great for your numbers, your stats, and on the right side you have your lined pages, maybe for storytelling or writing details about your characters or just whatever's happening or maybe you want to put a shopping list in there. You can do whatever you want. A brilliant companion for your playing time. We have one product left. <sighs> Look at this D20 light. I kind of think of this as the real hero product of the range. It is incredibly impressive. It is big, it is shiny. So on the front there, you can see that this is a color changing light. And on the front, we've got some representations of the colors that it will go through. Oh, it's bigger than I remember. It is lovely. It's got the lovely printed details all around of the numbers and it has all 20 sides of a 20 sided dice. Now this light is USB powered only so no batteries to worry about. You have underneath a little button there that is your on and off button and there is your USB port. How am I going to turn the lights off? Do I need some kind of special spell like the light turning off spell or? You must roll a six to successfully turn off the lights. I don't know where that came from. That's quite scary. So this light has three modes. First mode is off, so you obviously have the nice big white D20 D&D dice. Click it once and it will go into color phasing mode. It will go between the colors over the whole spectrum, so from red to yellow to green to blue, as you would expect. Now, if there is a certain color that you're particularly partial for, that you're a big fan of, I really like green. Actually, no, I really like blue because I missed my opportunity to like green. Click the button again, the same button on the bottom, and it will pause. It will pause on that color, and then it will stay in that color until you turn it back off again, which you do with another click of the button. Click it again and you are back into color phasing mode. I think it will light up any room, any gaming area brilliantly, any bedroom. You can use it as a mood light. You can use it. Oh, this is a really good idea. Stick it in the middle of your gaming table while you're having a particularly brilliant session of Dungeons and Dragons and it will give you that brilliant, magical, moody lighting. Now, I hope you enjoyed seeing our Dungeons and Dragons range just as much as I enjoyed presenting it. This is obviously a taste of our current range. This is all going to be out very soon. We've got so many ideas for excellent, magical, fantastic, fantastical products to come in the future so keep an eye out now if you like that video then hit the like button down there and if you want to see more videos from Paladone TV then hit subscribe and if you want to get alerts for when Paladone posts more videos then hit the little alarm bell button down there and we'll I don't know we'll send the beholder around and it'll hover outside your window and just look really really creepy and, and you'll be like I better distract myself from that I'm going to watch some Paladone TV videos bye